previously on bedtime story. No, I'm joking. But basically, last thing I left you guys was like, the car broke down. We couldn't go from Arizona to LA for spring break. And now we're in my building's lobby and trying to figure it out. Okay. Quick disclaimer, this story does have a racist white roommate. So disclaimer and trigger warning i don't know now it's 6 a.m and like we're inside my lobby with a tow truck literally towing my friend's car outside and we're just like okay so do we cancel the trip and i was like no like we need to leave arizona i'm over it so they were just like okay what can we do what can we do and then my friend kayla who was like who owns the car she was just like well my sister is in phoenix so if we can drive to phoenix i can take my sister's car and take it to la and i was like okay so we just need to find a ride to phoenix right and she's like yeah so we're looking 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 we're texting all of our friends no one's awake and i was just like who do we even even know that has a car and then i was like wait my racist white roommate does <laughs> one minor issue though he fucking hates me <laughs> basically every day he would cause like a scene right in the house like he would always be racist like he would always say something and i'd be the only one that fights back because i can't like you know what i mean everyone's just like oh ignore him ignore him i'm like no i can't like i literally need to fight you're from florida shut up but anyways um <laughs> and i don't know if what i did was right okay but like i hate him he always tormented uh, torment <laughs> tormented fuck since he's always torturing me like okay usually i'm like don't use people obviously like that's a horrible thing to do but he's literally racist and he's the only person that we know that has a car and he could drive us to phoenix in two hours because he loves my other roommate you know what i mean so i was like yo sam fucking ask him to drive us to phoenix and he did and he said yes but he needed an hour so far so good right like now we have a ride to phoenix we're gonna go to la like everything's chill no other hiccups no other problems except for the fact that we had to deal with him for two hours in a contained space Fuck. He comes downstairs, walks past everyone, doesn't say anything, and just goes to my roommate, and he, like, whispers to him, and he's like, this your friend group? And he goes, like, yeah. And he goes, like, bro, your friend group looks like a diversity hire. And he's like, and then he goes, like, bro, your friend group not only looks like a diversity hire, but they also look like the friend group that they put on every college pamphlet and website. And I was like, like, you know what I mean when you want to say something, but you're like, dang, he's about to drive me for two hours for free. Like, you know what I mean? And it was just really hard to swallow my pride and everything in that moment. But I, you know, it, I did it. It's honestly fine. We get in the car and we roll down all the windows. We start driving and we're just like, dang fucking stinks like yeah, i mean that literally it fucking stunk like it smelled like literal shit because he hasn't showered in five days so every once in a while when we'd be like oh my god it stinks he'd roll up all the windows blast the ac but then we realized he stunk he smelled like shit like i like a bit of of like he smelled like so bad we were sitting for two hours like like it was so bad we got to phoenix eventually and it was like fine you know like lots of arguments in the car you know he only played dead people music refused to let anyone control the music at all you know it's honestly fine um but we got there we swapped cars like kayla got to swap cars she did fall asleep while driving like twice on the way to la but we made it and we we're